We're live. Hello. Happy Friday. You guys, it's Friday. This, it's Friday. Is, this is the last Friday before Jeffrey gets back. And then it will be, we'll be back with Jeffrey. I miss Jeffrey. We'll be back with Jeffrey. And Barb. And Barb. I miss Jeffrey and Barb. I know. Let's put. It was Barb was supposed to be with me tonight, but Barb had um oops. Her uh her kids had ball games. So So, so you get me, I'm sorry. I'm like the Yeah, the so I version. I'm the off brand version of Barb. I asked Ariana if she would come on uh, in Barb's place, but I'm so like Jeffrey sent me a Marco Polo cuz he's been on a cruise, so I haven't been able to talk to him and I'm like, oh, I haven't talked to you in so long." But anyway, so welcome to Friday night. Thank you guys all for coming. I am Misty, and my co-seller tonight is Ariana from the Withering Cottage. Um, Hello. This is... Uh-oh, you're frozen. <gasps> I think... Yeah, you were frozen. I can still hear you. Oh, no, that's... No, I see you now. <laughs> Let's... Let's say hi to some of our friends. Oh, there's Fat Birds. Hey, girls. Fat Birds. Dip fat out your face today. Flipping and flopping. Oh, that reminds me of Jeffrey. Flipping and sipping is right. Well, it's at 10 o'clock Eastern. So they're going to sell five things and play some games. So make sure that you go to that and subscribe to their channels, too. Hey, babe, will um, you turn off the everything that's on Wi-Fi? <laughs> turn all the Wi-Fi's off. Hi, Karen. Oh, here is another Karen. Two of my favorite ladies together. I know. I Hello, love Hello, Samantha. Hello, Jennifer. Thank you about my shirt. It's white like every other shirt. Oh, thank you, Mark. Mark's moving my life closely. Hi, Susie. Wait, was Jeffrey here? Did Jeffrey pop in? Did Oh, he? maybe not. No, maybe not. I don't even know where he's at. Who knows? He's probably driving. I don't even know when he's coming home. He's in Bora Bora. Oh, all I know is I miss I miss him. Oh, there's Tammy. Tammy, I saw a like a pic a big poster of Chris Christofferson with his shirt off today at the antique ball. I got it on film. You'll see it in a video. Okay, so the what we the what we are going to do. Oh, oh Canada. Scott's watching tonight. Yay! He has a stupid job. He's a stupid job. It gets in the way. I'm so scared to move because I don't want to freeze. Babe. Babe. <laughs> so Tiger is going to be our bid ender. But before I get into that, we will, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you my little spiel like I do, you know, at, before every sale. Um, we will need some information from you if you're planning on bidding. The thing that I suggest if you are going wanting to think that you might want to bid on some things, if you use your phone, you tend to have better speed. So if you're wanting to bid on something, you could tend you tend to have better speed on your phone. Um, and I know it's easier to chat on your computer, but you can bid on your phone. Trust me, on Friday nights when I'm watching Jeffrey sales, I got my phone next to me and I'm typing on my computer so I can bid. Um, we will need some information from you. Our email addresses are, since I put Tigers, there we go. Our email addresses are right there underneath our picture. It's also in the description of the video. We will need your actual name and your YouTube name if it's different, your full shipping address, and your PayPal email. I'm going to be doing my shipping on Monday because I'm having a sale Sunday night as well um, with uh, with Michael on the Cult of Vintage. So, I'll be doing my invoicing on Monday. And oh, we will be doing a just we will be doing everything offer up style and we will be utilizing the just in case. The way that the just in case works is during the countdown only if you've actively been bidding, then you can throw out a just in case. It's just like what happens on an eBay auction or just an eBay, yeah, an eBay auction. You throw out what your what your what your highest bid is, and then the winner will win it for a dollar over the highest bid. Sometimes the just in cases can turn into the highest bid, so just keep in mind keep that in mind when you are bidding. Um, we are giving a giveaway tonight. Yes, I I'm just told away. my husband to go turn off everything, so hopefully I'll stop freezing. Just stop sorry. freezing. I hope so. I'm giving away fairy lamp. I took inspiration from Vinny. 
from Vintage Vinny. Vinny gave away a fairy lamp, so I'm going to give away a fairy lamp. And you know what else? You don't even have to be a winner to win this. It's anybody. Anybody in the chat. If you have bought something from me or not, anybody in the chat can win this, and it will ship to you completely free. So, free fairy lamp. Oh, and look what I did. You'll also get these. Um, uh-oh. Well, maybe you don't want these because they don't work. They were just worked yesterday. <laughs> well, you don't want these because... Oh, here we go. Hang on. Oh, well, they barely work. Well, they don't really work. But you get this fairy lamp. 100% free. Okay. Ariana, what are you giving away? Mine's not vintage, but I also really love candles. So you're going to be getting the Flower Shop Bath and Body Works candle. Mm. Because it smells nice and it's perfect for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to follow Misty's foot, Misty's footsteps because why not? So you don't have to win to get this either. Yep. Just keep in mind that I cannot ship out of Canada. So if you live in another country, I, I cannot ship to you. So it will be available to U.S. and Oh, it just turned on. It's a miracle. U.S. and Canadian. Oh, and you'll also get a sticker as well. I'll flip that in there. Okay. So, um, shall we start? Oh, Let's you know what? Start. Ariana and I were talking. Um, Ariana and I were talking. And, well, actually, this was Ariana's idea. She was like, should we do a mystery box? So, we're, we each have a mystery box. Bam, 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 bam. I don't have any USPS 12 by 12 by 8 boxes because I don't know if they ever will have them in stock again. So I had to really? actually for pay for mine. I had to pay for my 12 by 8, 12 by 12 by 8 boxes. Okay, so let's see. So we have 11 items. We we'll, we have 11 items tonight because the 11th item will be the uh, mystery box. All right. Um, I'm gonna have Ari. I'm gonna switch sides here with Ariana, and then I'm gonna make her big. Hello, I'm big. I am stressing about this Wi-Fi. I don't know what to do. I did the live sale the other day, and there was no problems. And now all of a sudden, well, I'm all frozen. You know what? We will uh, we'll do the best that we can, and we'll be gracious, and we'll get, allow ourselves some grace if we freeze. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, my husband's working on it. Right, oh, is it Tammy Christopherson? It's Tammy Christopherson's birthday. Happy birthday, Tammy. Happy birthday, Tammy Christopherson. Misty, why don't you, do you mind going first so I can no. see if my husband can fix the Wi-Fi? That is fine. Okay. That is fine. I have, these are so cute. I got dog. Well, listen, I got dogs, cats, and bears, and pixies. Oh, my. I have all those things tonight. These are left in. They're so cute. They're these little... Now, they are not salt and pepper shakers. They are just figurines. And you will get both of them. So, here is the little gray one and the little brown one. They are made by Lefton. I am going to start the bidding at $10 on the set. They're so cute. Aren't they cute? Look at their little faces. Very, very cute. I love the little brush strokes. It makes them look like they're fuzzy. There is the back. And this one's got his little paw up. Like, look at my yellow bow, guys. And he's saying, look at my blue bow, guys. There is a little bit of, um, I guess like a little bit of wear up by his eye and on his nose. And I don't even notice it until I get it right up in this camera. You can really see it. All right, I haven't been paying any attention. So Jennifer has the high bid of 17. Peggy's like, uh, Peggy's dropping it down. She's dropping it down. I'm going to go ahead and start counting them down. Helen, you like breast strokes too? You're naughty. You're naughty, girl, Helen. All right, maybe that was a typo. Maybe Helen's like underneath the table because she had <laughs> You typed in breast instead of uh, breast. Bre no, it is a breast stroke. Breath. It's a breath stroke, isn't it? Breast. Could you is it breast? Me? Mark's over there yeah. just dying laughing right now. It, it is, is breast. breast. <laughs> Shows what I know. Shows what I know. 
Okay. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. Brush stroke? Both Mark and Emma Brush said that it seemed stroke. like I have had a lot of caffeine today. And honestly, I didn't. So, all right, here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. See, I was wrong. <laughs> Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid end. Oh, bid end. Oh my gosh. Well, this is this sale's getting started off on a on the right foot. Maybe Rush. You, I'm, I'm oh. dying over here with my daggum Wi-Fi. <laughs> There's the bid end. Thank you so much, Tiger. Thank you, Peggy, and thank you, everybody. For having a faith in my... Oh, you know what else? Let me just say real quick before I switch over is... So, let me write down Peggy's name first. That's what I need to do first. But in my video today, I held up this uh, plaque. And I thought it was Tennessee. And I was like, is this Tennessee or is this Kentucky? And Mark and I were like, I don't know. I don't know. What is it? Tennessee, Kentucky. And I put like Tennessee and Kentucky up. Is neither. It's North Carolina. Shows what we know. Is North Carolina. Well, I used to always think it was nip it in the butt. Well. Oh. You know that expression? Nip yeah. it in the butt? It's not butt. It's bud. Good. Yeah. But I mean, but they both work. Okay. So if I freeze, I am so sorry. I'm embarrassed, but what can I do about it? Not we a darn do the thing. best we can. All right. Hi, he's in the house. Oh, Wait, everybody close your, close your eyes. We're sitting on the beach. We're drinking our Mai Tai. Jason Momoa is coming out of the ocean. And Smelling like sunscreen and alcohol. Yes, and he's bringing us all, um, what's he bringing us? D diamond rings. I don't know. Yeah. That we already nice. have Mai Tais. We're already holding the Mai Tais. That sounds okay. nice. Okay, my very first item, let me get a ruler, is this really, really pretty, fun brooch. It is Ooh. so sparkly. It is like yep. the most sparkliest brooch I've ever seen. This is going to start at $12. What, Misty, what is that called in the middle? Uh, blah, 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 blah. There's a name for that. Uh... Is it not Aurora Borealis? Maybe, but it's got red stones, orange stones, green stones, purple stones, and it's surrounded by all those other rhinestones. It is two inches in length. Is I don't know what you wanted to start it at, but we've already got some bids starting at 12. Oh, yeah, it was starting at 12. And then oh, here's okay. the back. It's definitely vintage. It's not modern, but it's crazy for it being vintage how shiny those stones still are. Hi, Warren. Like, they're not doled down at all. And it, the center stone has a lot of rainbow colors going on in it. L Lucinda said Aurora Borealis Cabochon. That's the word I was looking for. Thanks, Lucinda. Yeah, you said brooch. I haven't seen Daniel. He hasn't emerged yet. Brooch, brooch, brooch. Like, um... Beetlejuice. 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 Yeah. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Brooch, brooch, brooch. But yes, again, these are great on your curtains and your shower curtains. If you don't have brooches on your shower curtains or your curtains, you're missing an opportunity. So Laura they said that the center stone looks like Alexandrite. Possibly. Now, the back is not opened, so... I couldn't tell you much about the other side of the stones. Do you know that looks like it would match every outfit you have in your closet? Yeah, it was. You can wear it this way, right, right, or you could wear it this way. Either way, or you could wear it diagonally if you really wanted to. Sherry would like you to hold it next to your blouse so they can see it on the white. Next to my blouse. Look at that! How that sparkles. That's really nice. It is so sparkly. Like, if you're wearing this outside, you're going to cause a car crash. I can assure you. So, don't <laughs> be careful. Maybe go like this when you're walking across the street. But, super sparkly. But, I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down. Okay. So, and Miss, you said you, we are doing just in case, right? Yes. Okay. So, 15, 14, 13, 
12. And there's like no scuffs on that center stone. 11, 10. So blues and greens and yellows and reds. Oh, I love it. Uh, 9, 8, 7. Hi, six, Eric. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bit end. Good end. Hi, Randy girl. Hi, Chris and Eric and Jody. Hey. Awesome. Howdy, howdy. Happy Friday. Hello. So there is the bid in. So um, L. Paul, 1948, gets it for $28. Oops. Thank you so much. All right. Hi, Sharon. All right. And I have been shopping all day today, and it, we had a snowstorm today. Unexpected. Didn't see that coming. I know if you're out east, you're battening down the hatches, and I hope you all stay safe. But I have these two little Belgium jars. Um, I just got these on Friday. So it was in today's video. These little sweet little white milk glass Bel Belgium jars with the red trim. So I thought that these would be really cute for Valentine's Day. They're very, very clean. They do have the, um, the little plastic rubber stopper. I'm going to start these at $15 for the set. So you will get both of them. I didn't want to separate them. I thought they look cute together in your bathroom. But they're all the way from the bottom to the top. They're five inches tall. They are marked Belgium on the bottom. Do you come across the milk glass ones? Because I don't know that I've ever Not seen them. Not very often. I come across the blue ones quite a bit. And I, I typically will only buy the colored ones if they have the sanded glass um, lid and not the rubber, not the rubbery one. But just because I don't see these very often, I thought that they would be very cute. for Well, for Christmas, Valentine's Day, 4th of July... If you've got a red and white kitchen, they're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just little canisters. Um, you could put some spices in here if you would like. Um, yeah, or just put them on your shelf. They're cute just for decorations. Whoops, Angels, Becca, I see you at. Is it? I know I was talking to Michael today, and he was heading towards like New York area, and he decided no, he shouldn't do that, and he turned around and went the other way. So. <laughs> All right, bye, bye, Laura. Bye, Mary Beth. Bye. See you in a little bit. Bath salts. That's a good idea. Yeah, so if you were in out east, oh, just I hope that you got everything that you need. You can just stay home and cuddle with your pets or your family. It isn't so bad if you know that everybody that you love doesn't have to go out and about in it. But I know that isn't always the case because, you know, you have to go to work. All right, so Ruthie is at um, 25. Oh, thank you, Karen. It was a great, it was a great, great video. I'm going to go there probably in about a month. In about a month, I'll probably go back. All right, here we go. Uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. I see Angels Becca for 26. Um, cuddle with your vintage and your antiques. Uh, absolutely. Angels Becca, I see you're just in case of 29. There is a bid in. So Angels Becca, they are yours for 26. Thank you so much. All right. Oops. Now we'll switch over. I'm literally like a deer in headlights because I'm just so upset about this Wi-Fi. <laughs> I can't it's even not bad. Okay. okay. It's just, it's a, it's a little, it's a little grainy. I'm moving to the city. <laughs> this country life ain't working for me. You have to lend, look into a Wi-Fi booster. Dang. I had, it was so good the other day. I don't understand what happened. Okay. I'm going to ignore it. Maybe it will get better. So I actually just picked this up. I think it is so unique. It says National Art of Matchbox. National Art of In the Matchbox. And this one is called The Sick Room. So oh. it's this little German 
Matchbox. I love um, this. So it is from Germany. I think it's from the 20s or 30s. Um, I can't remember what I saw. But on the front is this little like mountain scene with a little cabin. And then hold when it you really hold it really still. Okay. Here you go. Maybe if you Okay. I can okay, I can see it now. National art of the matchbox and it says the sick room and it is the actual size of an actual matchbox but then when you open it it's this teeny tiny scene of this child sick in bed and his mom right over the bed kind of checking on him and then his dad sitting in a chair next to the little uh vanity Oh my god. So are they all like they're like little wooden pieces? What do you want yeah, to do that? Oh, I'm sorry. That would help. $14. Yeah, every piece in here is completely hand carved and hand painted and hand constructed with little pieces of wood. And it's so small, but they got so much detail in there. Hi, and it's in Harry. it's in really good condition for how old it is. And even the box is like wood but this is cardboard the covers cardboard but the little scene is wooden it's so stinking cute and look at the little baby <coughs> Mama. and look how white he is you see how they like made his face like so white like who has the i i don't know how you would make something like that hi bill no, Bill's at 30. The little tiny specks of glue where they would they glued it all together that's I amazing love this i I like things when I come across them and I've never seen it. That's like my yeah. favorite thing to find. Yeah, it's really detailed too for as small as it is. Like you can see like, it's like the dimensions. You can see like in the background, there's the dresser. In the background, there's the window. Yeah, and the and it even the little baby has a little pillow and a blanket. It's really wow. cute. But I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down. And the dad has his leg crossed like, Son, can you hurry up and get better? I got things to do. <laughs> and she's like, shut up. All right, 15, 14, 13, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, yes. Lucinda. 3, 2, 1, big. In on this amazing piece. So Karen has a just in case of 70. Bill has the highest, or no, not Bill, Twinkle Toe Treasures has the, okay, so now the high bid is 50, and there is the bid end. So that means that Karen Rogers gets it for $51. Yeah, that's a great folk art piece. It that's is very so cool. cool. Thank you so much, Karen. And it was for how much? Uh, 51. 51. Thank you, Misty. Yep. You're welcome. Okay. So some of these pieces that I'm going to sell you, I just got, but I couldn't, like, I, I wanted to, I wanted to, 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 to bring him right away. So this little guy right here, he's, he's missing one of his poodles. And I don't know about you, but I think he's been to Colorado. Oh, do not buy better. <gasps> oh. Doesn't he like? Doesn't she look like she's been in the devil's lettuce? <laughs> look, at, look at that! She's like, and there's her little baby, or his little baby. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. This is made by Christ, K R E I S S, which is my one of my favorites. Now, like I said, the little one of the little poodles is not there, but this is a big. I'll get the size and then I'll put in the starting price. Uh, about eight inches tall. So she she's a she's a big girl. I'm gonna start this at twenty dollars. I have never seen this before. But so the poodle itself has no damage to it. So it's got little pink trimmed ears and blue accents. Yeah, you can kind of see it there with the paper. I love the shape of her ears. Look at the little, the little, how the little poofs are at the end. And then the little baby. 
Look at those brows. He's angry, baby. He's angry, baby. And the mom is like, yeah, I'm so tired. Maybe that's what it is. She's tired. I bet. I feel like that puppy's name is Damien. Damien. She's worried about her baby that ran away. Hi, Matthew. How are you doing? I hope you're having a fun Friday. I know. <laughs> or that. Or that, Lucky Dice. Or that. But yeah, her eyelashes are uh, part of the ceramic mold. But she can barely keep her eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> Elisa, I see you at 26. Kyle's build. She's going to bid... Three thousand no thirty two thousand three hundred and twenty three sold. That's what I was gonna say sold. Sold. Three two fifteen fifteen one sold. All right, Kathy is at twenty seven. I'm gonna go ahead and start counting this down. Here we go. Look at that angry poodle over here. Here we go. We're gonna start counting down now. I feel 15. like you should have a cigar. <laughs> yeah. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. There's his little blue accents. It Have is you made ever seen the movie? Oh, what is that movie with the bunny? He's a, it's a cartoon. Like a rabbit, something rabbit. Bugs. You know Bugs? Jessica Rabbit in it? No, Jessica Rabbit. Oh, who framed Roger, Roger Rabbit? Roger Rabbit, yes. You know the baby in there? Yeah. That's who that poodle reminds me of. Yeah, the baby with the stogie. Yeah, that's exact. Yeah, I got it. Who can I talk to around here? Like, that's who it reminds me of. That's it. That's it. All right. Thank you so much, Elisa. I have you down for $28. All right. Oh, boop, boop. And there. All right. My next item is one of my favorite pieces I found in a while. I think it's super unique and really, really cool, especially if you're a Fenton collector. It's just a really unique piece to have in your Fenton collection. But it is this iridescent glass fish. Wait, is Jay here? I this see is him. going to start at $20. It has that beautiful oil slick iridescence to it. No chips, no cracks. It's got around the base, it's got jumping fish throughout the waves. It's also got seashells and other items and suches around the bottom. And I love the shape of it. I just, uh. and then it is clearly marked Fenton on the bottom. I don't know if I'll be able to sh show you. Oh, yeah. You can see that oval. Mm -hmm. No, and the there's no, um, I believe that the original color, oh, I can't really say because it's really, you really only see it on the bottom because that iridescence is very thick on this piece, like very thick and in excellent condition. It's not, it's not worn in any places. And look at the detailing on those scales. That's amazing. And I had this on my kitchen counter and when the sun hits this, it is so shiny. Dang it, I'm freezing again. <laughs> wow. I've never seen that before. I've never no, seen that. I one. haven't either. I don't see a lot of Fenton figurines other than like yeah. the angels and the bears, cats. Yeah. But I had never so seen someone had said I didn't see who it was, but it's a rainbow trout. Clever. It is, isn't it? You are, aren't you? And look at that fin right there. <laughs> Thank so you, cool. Matthew. This is, this thing is five and a half inches tall. So it's a pretty significant piece. I thoroughly enjoy it. But Thank I you, Matthew. I'm I will answer here in just a moment. And I think I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down only Do because I'm just embarrassed of my Wi-Fi. So the sooner we can get it back to you, oh. Misty. <laughs> All right. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, one, bid end. Susan S. has the high bid of 31. 31. Mark, what's the one thing that I collect that kind of drives you a little crazy? Babies. Nothing really. I There's the bid in. Yeah. See, that's what I was going to say. It it does. Did you get the name? Susan S. at 31? Yes, for 31. Yeah. yeah. Thank um, you so much. It would. No, he will not. Now, if I collected Anna Lee dolls, he probably wouldn't. <laughs> no, um, I probably the naked babies. I mean, I not very many men will be like, and my naked babies are right in the hallway. Like they're <laughs> right there. And like when you come out of the, when you if you're in my bathroom and you step out into the hallway, that's the first thing you see are a shelf full of naked little naked babies. So, but he doesn't really mind the naked babies. So, anyway, it'll yeah, it it my collections change. Okay, so I posted a picture on Instagram of one of these. I kept one and I bought one to sell tonight. And I'm, I'm doing a lot. Like I've, I've added other things to it. So, um, I am going to start this at $15 and you're going to get everything. Oh wait. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Bob's here guys. Yeah. Liberace. Hello, Bob. Lip, my Liberace collections and my new Miss Piggy, those all have to stay here. I mean, he wouldn't care, but I enjoy looking at him here. I don't think you should put Liberace right next to your bed. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you will be now I had I have mine in a flower frog. So these just look really nice in a display. They're like, you know, like those sign things, but these are kind of hard to find, honestly. Um in this size, the you can get like two and a five for Christmas, but I have a one and a four, but wait. You'll get these. If you have a flower frog, oh wait, yeah, he doesn't like my moo-moos and my caftans. <laughs> he probably can do, probably do without those, but you'll get this and they look good in a flower frog. You'll also get some Valentines. So I'm going to show those to you now. You will get this cute little pink elephant. Wish I could settle down with you for my Valentine. And on the back, it says, To Betty from Esther. Has a little... The tear is actually just, like, there's, like, this extra piece of paper here. And then this one is, Please bear with me and march right up to be my Valentine. Isn't that cute? He's a little soldier. Wait, did I... I didn't highlight the start bid. Did I? I didn't even put in a start bid. Goodness gracious, Misty, you're fired. No, you're not fired because you can't leave me. There we go. So there, there's that one. And then you'll also, this one's fun. I, mean, I, I have to make sure I'm doing it the right way. So this one says, to my Valentine, I thought I was good, but I guess I ain't. You're pretty, prettier even that I can paint. I don't know. But watch, watch. Oh, look. She's painting. She's painting herself. Paint a picture, girl, not yourself. There we go. But you get that one. Freddie, I see you at 16. You'll also get um, loving you is automatic. I love you, and that's no static. These are great. Betty Sue from Catherine Howell. And this one, I think my, it reminds me of a Ruthie Newton, but I'm not, I don't know if that's what it is, but it just reminds me of this little kitty cat. Don't brush me aside. And on the, it says, gee, I don't know what I can do. I've got clean, I've gone clean crazy over you. You've swept me off my feet. This one is also a little strange. I'll see if I can get it. This is to the one I love, like a fish in a bowl. I'm lost without you. Okay, so here's this one. Watch its eyes. I don't understand. <laughs> here we go. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So it does that. So you get that one. And then, but wait, but wait, you get all those. And I just bought this today, but I'm throwing it in today. 
is the Valentine hanky. It's in great condition. It's a square. No stains on it, but you know, you can put it on a, on a shelf on the bottom with your little displays there. Jay. Oh, Ariana, you'll have to show that Fenton piece again. Oh, so Jay okay. can see it. She wasn't here when you showed. So Jay, Jay Mick, I see you at 32. I'm, and then now Susie Q, I see you at 35. I'm going to go ahead and start counting these down. It's a great little instant Valentine's Day display. There you go. So here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, oh, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. Susie Q has a high bid of 15 for the instant lot of Valentine, or as I call them, Valentines. Does anybody else do that? Mark even labels our bins with our Valentine decorations, Valentines. Susie Q, they are yours for 35. Congratulations, Susie. I actually got to meet her in person. You did? Yeah, at an antique mall. How crazy is that? Uh -huh. Oh, here you go, Jay. I didn't know you liked fish, Jay. She likes Fenton. Oh, well, it's a Fenton fish. You like Fenton. I like fish. Ta da You like fish? I hate fish. I love fish. I don't like to look so at fish or They're eat so fish. Colorful. Missy, I'm about to throw my phone out the window. No, it's fine. It's fine. Straight out the window. Okay. My next item is going to start at $30. I'm going to stand up for this one. Lucky you, Bill. Bill's husband loves all his collections. Oh, 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 oh. Look at the base of this one. It looks like a little baby bird. The, the top of it does. Feed me. That, I won't charge you extra for that. You can have it free of charge. Oh, but Jay no. says she's never seen one of those pieces in person, one of those Fenton fish. So yeah, must they're, be, they're, that must they're. mean it's really good. It is pretty good. It is very fancy pantsy. But yes, this is going to start at 30. And look at that bottom. Okay, just to be clear, we are doing just in case. <laughs> you know Michael, where you at, Michael? Well, Michael was shopping today, and I don't know if he's even home yet, so. Hi, Diane. Diana. I mean, Diana. And look Susie, at that. Did you, did you send me those? I love those stinking things. Yeah, you do need to send her some. What? The expanding foam packing stuff. The what? Oh, I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> okay. But look at the bottom of it, too. It looks like a flower. And then it's still got that. Look at the, the variation in colors in this. And it's it's like ribbed all the way around. And then what is this pattern? It's like it's Starburst. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This piece right here is 18 inches tall and right around 5 inches wide at its fattest chunky butt right here. And I love that that pattern around the middle of it there, that variation between the. the I know, organs. right there, it looks yeah. like it's dripping, but it's 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 not glazed. That's the actual color of the glass. It is a beautiful orange, Mama. Now all I can see is a daggum baby bird, Misty. At least I know. Feed me, Mama. It looks like a big pie bird. Make a big pie. I know it really does. <laughs> but I. I just love this bottom. It's so atomic. It's so mid-century. She's a bad man, Majama. But when I see these, they usually don't have this pattern on the bottom. No. The ones that I've come across. I don't know that if this is extremely, you know, rare or common or anything like that. It's just I don't come across that very often. I just thought it was so cool. And look how pretty that yellow is. Mm -hmm. And it glows, too, by the way. It, it should. It should. Oh, so pretty. I love this piece. It's just like, it just stands alone so good. It'd be just such a good collection to your bittersweet or your swung bases. It's just so unique. But I'm going to yep. go ahead and 
start counting this down. Don't forget, just in cases. I'm glad my mom's not here to mess with me. Did you see that, Misty? <laughs> on my sale? She I hated it. Like she's yeah, dropping it. Dropped it. Oh, it was awful. So Ruthie right. has the high bid of 75. So 15. Thank you, Ruthie. 14. 13. 12. Yes, this would be considered bittersweet. Yep. Uh, 11. 10. 9. Eight, seven. Thank you, Yvonne. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid end. Susan S. Don't forget about the just in cases, guys. Mom, it was not funny. Singing. Mom, it wasn't funny. Okay. So we had a lot of just in cases being. So Bill threw in a just in case of 141 and threw in a just in case of 175. So it will go to Annie Demkin for 142. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So 142. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miss Ann. That I've never seen that before. That's that was that was a cool one. Ariana, Me neither, like but I feel like I haven't seen a lot. So when I say that, I take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> so I'm going to follow that up with probably the my favorite thing. Bob, Bob is answering whoever is barking right now. Bob, oh. what color is your sweater tonight, Bob? You have to let me know. You know, I'm always curious. Bob likes his sweaters. Bob is a dog, by the way. <laughs> you don't know that <laughs> bob is a dog okay bob so this is like i don't know if barb is still here or not but hi jana thank you um gray and red plaid love it bob bob, bob we're twins we both have red on okay i love this little guy so it look, he's so sad you know, i love him so much <laughs> oh no he needs a hug I know. That's why I was like, I'm going to take you home, buddy. But I don't need him because I don't have room for him. But look at his little ham hock arms and legs. It's oh. like, boom. He's got a big old, <laughs> big old arm. But look at that face. Oh, no. I can't look at him. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? I love him so much. Okay. Oh, so I don't know who made him. He's well loved, but I, I that's what I love about him. He doesn't have a, a tush tag or anything anymore. His little um the pads on his little arms and his little feet are um velvet and no not on his ears. He has plastic eyes and that frown. I just I mean if you have like a little bench or something or a little school desk or a little chair, he just he wants to be your your panda. I if love I was so not here, like here with you, I would bid on him. I, I I I love him so much. I love that he's all worn. Oh yeah, a little bow around his neck. That would look really cute. Well, I was gonna say too, if you like don't specifically collect stuffed animals, these look so good in displays. Like for um for like Fourth of July, put a little flag in his hand or Halloween, put a little pumpkin pail with a witch hat. Oh, they're so fun. Oh, Catherine, me too. I always thought, you know, Toy Toy Story did that. Like, when you watch Toy Story, like, as an adult, you, you, you know, you're like, yes, I knew that all my toys came to life when I went to sleep. But I just, isn't he, look, like, hey, hey, guys, um, oh, I'm, I'm really happy to be here tonight. I, I'm, I'm so happy. Thank you, Annette, for bidding on me. You will turn my frown upside down. I just know it. I love him. Okay, so oh, Kathy is the cutest. Yeah. See, Mark thinks he's cute too, don't you, Mark? Yeah. That was a sincere. Yeah. Right. Mark's taking yeah. pictures. I have him to work. You get take more pictures, sir. You take more pictures for eBay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay, Bree. He's not John to Sherry. He's loved. He's loved. Okay. So, Kyle, I see you at 31. No, and that's at 35. I'm going to go ahead and start counting him down. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid. And oh, Johnny says hi, Mark. Hi. You remember Johnny? Oh, Johnny. Johnny. Diana's Johnny. Yeah. Okay, and then I think I have the first 38. He is a lover. I'm a lover. He does have a very Bob Newhart face. Or um, Saturday Night Live. What was that? Wah, wah. What was that? What was her name? Wah, wah. Gosh. Okay. Let me see. I, I've lost my mind. So I see some just in cases here. So B, no. Kathy had a just in case of 50. B had a just in case of 55. Oh my gosh, you're going to go to B's house, baby. B, he is yours for $51 and worth every penny. I just, you just don't see these in this. I mean, yeah. Is he in, he's in loved condition, but he doesn't have any tears or anything. I just, I love him. I love him. He I'm literally so happy. made my eyes water when he looked. I feel like he was looking into my soul. I know. He's great. I love, and just you, we're rescuing him. Yes, he is so cute. Debbie Downer. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. I did. Oh, right. So the, the next dad. item is going to be choice. Is that okay with you, Misty? Absolutely. Okay, cool. So you're going to be bidding for choice. So for those of you that don't, I'm sure most of you know what that is, but you're just going to be bidding on one. So it's, you're not bidding on the pair, you're bidding on one, and then you can pick if you win, which one you want. So I have two sets of mercury garlands, mercury glass bead garlands. And the reason why I brought these, even though it's not Christmas time, is because these are not strictly Christmas. These are great for Valentine's Day. Yes. Way to incorporate vintage into your Valentine's Day display. But then, of course, you can still use them for 4th of July and or Christmas. They're all year round. These red ones, <clears throat> oh, they're going to start at $20. <clears throat> Excuse me. These red ones are right under nine feet long. So they are, this is a long strand. They are not in perfect condition. There is, I mean, none of them are like broken um, or anything like that, but there is some color fading kind of consistently throughout but i like that because it kind of gives it an ombre effect kind of makes some of the pieces more pinky than red and this is a really long strand wow so and um they still have uh let's see this one does not but the other one does so here's the red one all glass i kind of regret putting mine away with my christmas stuff these are so good for Valentine's. I know. I know. And then the second pair. Is give, them down, still... give them down from the attic for me, Mark. Yeah, get to work, <laughs> Mark. No, I'm just kidding. And the second ones are silver, but they are these really cool. They're like. Oh, I know. Barrels. I'm sorry. I hate I'm pixelated. This piece right here is all one piece. These two little cylinders. That's one bead. And then this one has three beads, like three pieces, but that's one bead right there. Yes, they're mercury beads. They're glass mercury beads. Like, you know, like yeah. the, the glass Christmas ornaments, the old ones, it's the same. It's the same stuff. And this set is right under eight feet. And this one still has its original made in Japan tag and its little cardboard enders on it. And these as well are in great condition. No broken beads. I'm sorry. I'm frozen. No broken beads. Uh, oh, there's one little one right here I just saw. But it's only one half, like one little part on the end. But still totally displayable. Beautiful. And I love these ones that are different, like, that aren't the circular. I like the circular ones too. But these ones are just so fun with the different shapes. And then together for Valentine's Day. Yeah. So cute. So it's a good idea to not, to like keep your mercury beads out and just put them somewhere like in your little Heidi stash where you put all your other like decorations that you get throughout. The Does anyone else have a Heidi stash like that? Like remember my Heidi hole? I don't have pink. Your ears. pink, it was your hut, right? Right. Does anybody else stash your stuff away? 
like it's little squirrels. Me. Yeah. All right. Yep, well, yep. I'm going to go ahead and start counting these down on choice. And I'm again, I'm sorry I'm pixelated. I, I'm trying to do the best I can. But I'm going to go ahead and start counting them down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, big end. And I love the sound of glass mercury garland. Oops, no. So Jody has, wait, yeah. Jody had the high bid of 50 because Samantha put in a just in case of 53. But now the 53 is the high bid because, Pe well, no, not Peggy. Peggy, <laughs> Peggy gets them for 58. Yeah, I'm kind of coming around the corner and then they're going to hit it. Peggy's right. coming around the corner. So, Peggy, you win, but you which one do you want? Which one do you want, Peggy? Red or silver or both? Red or silver. Red or silver or both. My whole house is a Heidi stash. Robert, same. 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 Yeah, you know what, Michael, I bought some from Michael, and he sent them to me in a, um, you know, those little plastic Glad containers? You can get them even at Dollar Tree. But that's a good little place to stash your little mercury glass beads, and then they can, you can stack all your colors. She wants both. Great. I don't blame her. Peggy, that was a really good get. Congratulations. And how much, Misty, did you say? 58. 58. 58. Mm-hmm. Thank you, dear. I will package them with love and attention. Also, Matthew, yes. Well, you know what? They, 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 all your stuff will be, it's like an estate sale, but you know what? Somebody's going to be very lucky someday, you know? You know? Someone's going to be very lucky someday to have all your cool things. Yes, and if you buy something and you want to display it, you can, I have a Facebook. If you go to my Facebook, please join um, the Facebook group, which is just Thrift for Junker, Vincent Chunter. Well, follow me on Facebook and then you can um, request to join the group. Um, and it's um, a show and tell group where we're just, you can just show your displays and um, things that you found. It's not a selling page. It's just where we can share things. So, hey, Misty, and Jana really and Jay and Tiger help me out with that. Yes. While you're uh, selling this item, can I hop off and try to reset my Wi Fi and get back on? Yeah. Okay. I'll be yeah. right, right back. Okay. I'll back let you back work. in. Okay, bye. I'll let you back in. Actually, I'll go ahead and do these next because this might take a few minutes. So that, that will be perfect. Um, I have some Kurok plates. And so what I'm going to do, these are also going to be choice. I'm going to show them. Well, they're, I'm going to start them out at um, $10 choice. So I have three different styles. There is the little Road Runner. There he is. And... The giftware, Kurok giftware, um, they're made in Monterey, California. They do have their sticker on the back and then as well as the, um, the little thing over there. So here is the Roadrunner. And then I have, I don't know what, quails? And they, it look, it's very much like an inlay. So we've got the two, kind of reminds me of the Partridge family. Like the bird from the Partridge family. This one does not have the foil sticker, but it is marked Kirok there on the back. I will get the uh, all the the gunk off of there. This one's my favorite. It's the mouse with cheese. You can put your cheese on this plate. All right. Uh, let's see. Susan S. has the first 13. Look at that little fat mouse eating his cheese. This one does have the um, foil sticker on the back, and it's also mark there on the back uh so okay i see it 15 all right so this is going to be choice what i'm going to do since they are different um the person that if they want all of them that's fine and then the whatever one they pick will go down from there so we've got the mouse the two birds and the road runner if you have a mid-century modern this would be great for a display all right so let's see here 
Uh, Isabel, I think you had the first 30. Carol's at 33. I am going to go ahead and start counting these down. I'm going to try to do this and show them and do my mouse at the same time. All right. Um, Isabel's at 35. All right, let's go ahead and start counting these down. This is for choice. Choice of Kirok tray. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Bid end. Is that where Monterey cheese comes from? Monterey, California? <laughs> you always look at me like... I thought you knew all things. There's Ariana. Here I am. Yes, she is. Okay, so there's the bid end. And I see, okay, so Sherry had the first 45, but Isabel had a just in case of 78. So Isabel. What did I miss? The Kirok plates. So Isabel, do you want for 48 the Roadrunner, the Two Birds, the mouse, or do you want all three? And then we'll kind of go up from there. It wasn't Virginia. Where's my, where's Monterey? Are you Googling it? I knew you were. I knew you were. He, <laughs> do it. Do, do any of you have a significant other that anytime you, uh, you, they'll like Google everything and they're like, then they'll like tell you a whole history of it. Okay. Isabel wants them all. I don't blame you. Thank you so much, Isabel. Okay. Thank you, Yvonne, for reminding everybody. Yeah, if you haven't given a thumbs up, please do it now. It's in the... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Where was it hey, made, Mark? He's not going to tell me now. Oh. No, no, no. You're good. You scared me. You scared me. Oh, you're um, good. I can't see the comments, so you might need to help me, Misty Pate. Do you know that you can click over the little chat button? Have you tried that? Sure have not. How do you do that? It should say chat, captions, graphics. I swear I'm not a noob. This is just not my night. Did but you? That's okay. Did you find it? No, but that's okay. I trust you. Well, I'll 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 highlight it on the screen so you'll know what the bids are. Wait, wait, wait. Irish girl. Google says Monterey Jack mild smooth cow's milk cheese produced mainly in California. It originated in Monterey County. But is now made elsewhere, California, no, to notably Sonoma country. Wow. So I was half, I was somewhat correct. Any cheese is good. Man, I'd like to have some cheese right now, actually. Thought I don't have it in here. I got ketchup chips here, though. A flower frog. Okay. I have to say something real quick. Ever since your sale on Tuesday night and you were talking about using flat ink wells as a holder for your Lucite candles, I was on the hunt for those today and I couldn't find any. Well, here's the flower frog. That, that's a big hole in that flat. Is it a candle holder flower frog? You know, I don't know. It might, I don't know what the center was used for, to be quite honest. Well, but wouldn't that be pretty, though, if you had a candle in there and then you had your flowers around it? Very cool. Or put your, still put your pens and your candlesticks. But, so this flower frog right here is going to start at $14. Um, I collect flower frogs. I don't know if you guys collect flower frogs. This is a very rare. I got it. I got, it. I got, I got the price difference. 46 Isabel and not 48. Thank you. <laughs> but okay, go is, ahead. This is a very rare flower frog. Google it. If you want to mark, mark, Google it. It's a hard to What's find. What's he Googling? How hard of a flower frog this is to find. It's a very rare flower frog. It's so Google rare flower frog. <laughs> rare flower frog. So this is a um, custard glass flower frog. It's in perfect condition. No chips, no cracks. And then here we go. Ready? Boom. Oh. It is so incredibly glowy. These, like I said, oh, I have goosebumps. These are, I, 
I have hundreds of flower frogs. This is the only one of this that I have. They are very, very difficult to come across. You can come across the Vaseline glass ones, like yeah, the clear ones custard. that glow, but these custard glass ones are very difficult to find, or at least I think that they are. I found that they are hard to find, mm. but it glows so pretty. And then just like I showed you, imagine this as a lucite candle holder under a black light with it glowing get out of here you'll never see that that's so cool i love it i love you but yes very rare or i guess i shouldn't say very rare do you love me <laughs> kind of rare very cool has this big center part i'm not sure what that's for because you would stick your flower stems in here very clean yes. Look how shiny. Oh, wait. Scott has a question, Ariana. Is there such a thing as a glowing lucite candle? Because that would well, be a fun match. Funny you mention that. Hey, could you get the lights for me, please? These are... Oh, no, wait. Wait. They do, they do not go with the candle holder. No. These are going to no. be up for sale later. later. Oh, no. That, that light on, but just that one off. These will be up for sale here in a little bit. But these have glitter in them instead of the um the like gold and silver flakes that we're used to but check these out the, that's coming uh, up uh, like a that's coming up this is like a purple light but it they light up it's like an aqua blue how cool is that that's coming oh, up next it ain't soon yes these are coming up but right now we're doing the flower fog so those together that is a combination. Oh, we can turn off one more time so I can show him this. My husband's my Vanna tonight. Look at that. Good job, Derek. Good job, Derek. He went like this. Derek Jason. <laughs> so, can I tell that story real quick? I went to Misty's papa and uh, Misty forgot my husband's name. She was like, what was your name again? He was like, what was it, Jason? I think so. Is that what he said, Jason? And she was like, that's I it, Jason. So. And I was like, his name's not. It Jason. wasn't Derek. Not very nice, babe. Not cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start counting this down. You're good. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid in. Barbara, is it 54? And then Misty, as soon as um it's your turn, I'm gonna pop out one more time because my husband restarted the Wi-Fi. Okay. So hopefully then that will be better. Oh if not, I'm just moving to the city. That's all there is to it. Oh. Wow. So Barbara gets them for 54. Um, also, guys, make sure that you are in live chat and not top chat. Yeah. That Congratulations. It's a very cool piece. You know I need to make sure that I'm also in live chat. See, I forget too. All right. So Ariana's going to pop out. And Last then she'll time. come back. We're, we're working with it. Okay. So my next item. Oh, now you're going to get both of these. And I, I this is just the cutest thing ever. So first of all, you're going to get the, this is a, um, Leo Ward, Blue Bird of Happiness, 1984. He's a chunky little bird. His, I always check the beaks. There's no chips on his beak. He is Leo Ward, 1980. Was that 89 or 84? Hang on, let's look at this together. That's 1984. Yeah, 1984. There she is. But wait. There's more. I'm going to start the bids at this at $20. So, but wait, there's more. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see this one. Oh, it's so here. I won't, I won't light it because he doesn't need to be lit, but look, it's a little baby one. And it's also signed Leo Ward. Um, 2000. Is it is so cute? So you're gonna get both of them. Let me put them up here together. You will get the pair. We're all good. We're all good. 
You'll get the pair. I need my little tray over here. Aren't they so Missy, cute? Missy, I'm, I'm going to need a redemption after this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real baby. Here, I'll put them on. I want to put them on Isabel's little trays here. There we go. Oh, well, sit up correct, little baby. There we go. Well, now we can't see your big mama. There, now we can see them together. Okay, it's so little. I have never seen one this little. Not in blue. I've seen them in the pink, which is not very easy to find, but I've not ever seen them in the blue. So, uh, Kathy is at 46. So, we're going to go ahead and start counting these little guys down. Both Leo Ward, 1984 and 2000. 15, 14, 13, 12. Oh, I don't know. 11, 10. You know what? The big one has just a little tinge of green. You can you see that? But he does not. He 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 doesn't glow. She was uh, a young mom, 1984 yeah. to 2000. She was 16. There we go. Uh, no, 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 no. Where was I at? 10, uh, 10 9, <laughs> 8, <laughs> 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. Bid and Lindsay has the high bid of 50. Elaine has a just in case of 60. There is a bid in, so he, they will go to Elaine for 51. Thank you so much, everybody, for your bids. I love that little bitty one. I just about died when I saw it. Just about. All right, Jay, <clears throat> since you're here now, I can do this Victorian photo album. This oh. is Victorian. It is celluloid on the top. Oh, I got, there's so much to say about this. Okay. It's got velvet sides. It's got these brass feet. It's got its original hinge, which if you find these Victorian photo albums, nine times out of 10, this hinge will be missing. This is going to start at $30. It is on a full blown pedestal. Wow. And then the front is this really sweet baby. cherub baby. How Ooh. cool would this be for Valentine's Day? It would be a really unique piece to add as a riser for your Valentine's Day display pieces. And here's the back with that green velvet. So nice. Yeah, and I wasn't picking up the green at all, but when you just showed it now against your white shirt, yeah, you can you can see that green. Yeah, so for like St. Patrick's Day, you could flip it around, you know, if you didn't want the chair yeah. showing, use it as a riser for St. Patrick's Day. But then when you open it, it's got pictures. So there's this lady. Oh, and wow. And then there are these folks these chillins and then there they are up there and then and then this one says grandmother, grandmother nagel's sister it's got a little provenance right there and then there's this pair of dapper people oops and then this pair of gentlemen so this wow, is about half. Cool. So we're getting towards the end. Here's the oh, oh my gosh, gosh, look at his mustache. That He's a so man. Mustache. They look a little frightened. There's these this pictures. Was an marriage. Right? And look. I'm gonna guess. He looks like he's in trouble. They're gonna go on the Titanic. Well, yeah, they oh, look how hopefully she, not. Hopefully they survived the Titanic. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, so that's it for the pictures. And then, oh wait, there's one more little baby in the back. But then this used to be, it doesn't work anymore. But if you go to the very bottom. Oh, there's more pictures. Oh yeah. This used to be musical. Damn. And it says a straight up waltz, me Griffin's wonder leg. And look at that handwriting. Thank you. That's amazing. I wonder what song it played. I think that's what it played. A oh. 
straight up waltz, just straight up. It was and a see, straight up waltz. Straight up, now waltz with me if you really want to love me forever. So <clears throat> there's a little oh, mechanism oh. that no. moves when you open this latch. You would pull that to open the album and it would start wow. to play music. Oh, wow. And oh, these make to be repaired. I'm sure it oh, probably and, could. Um, and these um these make great like little stash boxes, oh. like to hide your treasures and your money in this bottom oh, part right here. else you'd like to stash. No one would ever know that you hid your stuff under in your Victorian photo album. Jeez. And I just found these two little pair of keys. These old skeleton keys in the bottom. There's no lock, but I'm going to include them with the album because they came They've together. been in there. Yeah. Maybe yeah. they were with it this whole time. Maybe and that's where someone stashed their keys to all of their money. See? You can do... I'll have to make sure there's no hidden cash in here before I ship it out. But And then here's that beautiful corner detailing. And right here. Lovely. So cool. I mean, there is definitely some signs of wear because it's from the 1800s, but yeah. still very cool piece. But I'm gonna go ahead and start counting it. Mary said that she'd take it if she was a burglar. I'd take it too. I'd break into someone's house. That's what I would steal. Steal. I mean, I would, I would. This would be the first thing. Hi, Miss Pamela. All right. All right. Pamela? So uh, Pummel's Ventiques is at 80. 14, 13, look at that detail. And this does still last, you just pull it up. To lock it 12 11 10 9 8 and it's big 7 lovely i love six, it 5 <laughs> 4 3 2 and 1 bid end Congratulations to whoever gets this. I love this. I love that it's on this little stand and it's got all its original little feet. Let's see. I think the, does the key wind it, do you think? Maybe. So Peggy Gilmore gets it for 91. Well, thank you, Peggy. I mean, that is a possibility. Certainly. I don't know. So it goes to Peggy Gilmore for 91. Peggy Gilmore for 91. Thank you so much, Peggy. All right. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. I keep hitting on things that I'm not, that I should not, that I shouldn't be hitting on. Oh, wait. You're supposed to be over here, Clay. Simmer down now. Simmer, Simmer down. down. Okay. So this is pretty amazing. I just got, well, I got this a couple days ago. It's, I believe that this is made by Napco, I think, but it is a Bambi planter. Now, it is not marked Walt Disney anywhere. It's not, so it's a bootleg <laughs> Disney. But look at that deer. Look at those, le those, that cat eye. So it is a planter with this lovely green drip glaze. It doesn't have any cracks, chips, or flaws on it. It's, it's fun. I, you, I think if you put some like really big pink, uh, faux flowers in here that would be really neat or if you have a ton of lucite candles put all of them in there bunch of bottle brush trees why not so i'm gonna start this little guy at here we go i'm gonna start him at 18 bootleg bambi i'm not bootleg there's his little flowers down there but he doesn't have any chips on his base at all this dark green with this kind of a seafoam green drip glaze. And this is uh, six and a half inches tall at the highest point. Are you done taking pictures, Mark? Oops. Designer Duds, I see you at 22. I see you at 22. There's Bambi's little knobby knees. Knobby Bambi. I love the shape of that, too. There he is. Or she. Bambi was a oh, boy. Look at her eyes. Or his no. eyes. They're like. Like, what? 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 
I think Lindsay is at 23. Oh, no, no. Debbie's at 25. Debbie's at 25. Now, Twinkle Toes is at 27. Diane's at 28. I don't know what else you could put in here that would... I'm trying to think of what else. Makeup brushes. Well, you... Yeah. I mean, it's pretty... It's a pretty big... Pretty big vessel. Okay. Oh, he... Dad is fine. He thought his power steering was going out in his car, but it's not. It's fine. Mark drove it around and... So he was stuck at home today, couldn't go anywhere. So that drove him a little nuts because he likes to, you know, run around. I'll try to convince him to, we'll do some sort of a video. He, it always makes him nervous, napkins. You know what else you could put in here? You could roll up, you know, you were going to wash this out, but you could roll up um, like hand towels and put it in your bathroom. You could yes. do that. All right, Carol, I see you at 33. I'm going to go remotes. Michael would keep remotes in here. I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, knitting needles. Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, bid end. You know, I was thinking you could almost use it almost like a, uh, a yarn bowl. You could just like put your yarn in there and then run it down and then put the, the end of the yarn through one of Bambi's legs. So that could kind of feed it through, maybe. I don't know. Peggy, oh, I like your little deer, Tiger. Your little deers. Bill is at 40. Actually, Bill, you had that. No, you didn't. Now you have the high bid of 48. Kitchen utensils. Yeah, that would be cute, too. That would be cute, too. <clears throat> and... I, well, I'm waiting on the bid. Do I, has Tiger already put in the bid in and I just didn't see it? No. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I see it now. So, um, it will go to Twinkle Toe Treasures for, for 41. 41. Twinkle Toe Treasures. Thank you so much. I didn't see the... Yeah, I know, Jay. I just, I saw it afterwards. I'm going to follow you. up your deer and raise you three additional, well, four additional deer. What? Four? Yeah. Four deer. You're getting a lot of four. These are going to start at $20 for the lot of four deer. You're going to get two planters. So you're going to get this. That's like Shawnee. Yellow or McCoy. Baby. Really, I love the color eyes. I love that they picked that color and his little bow. Oh, part. I love a red eye. And then there's the little planter part, not marked on the bottom. Really good condition, super clean, really pretty glaze, no glaze skips, really well done. And it has beautiful crazing. I love that deep crazing like that. So you're going to get Papa. And then you're going to get Mama. Oh, my goodness. And look at how, I just love how long their necks are and their ears and their little chunky legs. Now, this one right here has a little, little, I don't know if it's Boober. a glaze or a chip. I can't really tell. But it's on the back, the very back foot. So if it's facing the front, you definitely don't see it. So you're going to get daddy it well daddy and mommy or mommy and daddy boys can like pink too Love your plants. you're gonna get their little babies brother and sister now, see, now they those not look like um no i don't know i just Morton. they just looked so i wish i could show Morton you pottery what they look like together oh, you need here i'll give you isabel's plate thank you so much i'm gonna set them right there yeah thanks so <laughs> much but no the, together like display it is just such a cool look or daddy and daddy that. Or and they're and all mama. in very good condition and i love that everyone is a different color like these two are a different shade of pink and then you get the yellow and the blue these are so good for easter
I mean, they're great for spring or all year round, really, but specifically for Easter. These oh, are yeah. Are the two little babies, are they posed in the same way? Or are they just uh, different? The pink one's ear is might be a little higher, but yeah, mostly the same. Okay. But you could even have them kissing. You could have the mommy and daddy. Oh. They, they could, don't have to be brother and sister, you know, but so cute. So cute. But you're going to get all four for that price. Yeah, the little ones look like Morton to me, but then the bigger ones look like Shawnee. Shawnee. Yeah, I just when they're when they were to get when they're together, it's just really really cute. But I'm gonna go ahead and start counting them down. So we got 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bid end. Mark is taking a bunch of pictures of chatty Cathy. I've got several chatty Cathy out. You're doing great, Mark. He's playing with his doll clothes over there. Bill! Bill, you got right in there. Bill, Bill, oh, Bill. no, 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 you didn't. But congratulations, Peggy. Peggy had a just in case of 56. So Peggy gets them for 42. 42. Peggy, yo, thank you so much, home. Peggy. My dogs really just want to be in this live stream. <laughs> they, they, just, really in. they just really want to be in it. Well, my next, I cannot believe I found another one of these things. I, 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 I this is just incredible to me, but I got another one. This is an Inesco. This one's a double. It's a double lipstick holder. The other ones that I've sold have been singles, but this one is a double. And she's got little teal eyes and a teal diamond or gem on her uh, collar. And then diamond rhinestones all the way around her neck. She is in flawless condition. She has her Inesco sticker. You can put your, um, your lipsticks in her. All right, I am going to start her at twenty dollars. She's got, she's got, baby's got back. That is she, amazing. You could put lipstick or air plants if you want to, but this was it was designed to hold. It was a lipstick holder. She doesn't have her magnets. I don't know if this one had magnets or not. The single ones have like a little magnet in there because the uh, makeup tubes or the lipstick tubes were metal back in the day. Are you done? <laughs> he's done i'm done angel girl is at 35 i know you i cannot see a long neck cat not think i can't see anything kitschy and fun and not think of liz retros i probably think of liz retros about 85 times a day seriously okay i'm i'm not obsessed I, I tell her that i'm one of these days she's gonna look out on her porch and i'm gonna be standing there <laughs> She got to call the police. Okay, Cabana Beach Shop, Beach Soap Company is at 52. Misty, do you think I look like Kate Hudson? I do. You do? I do. Yeah. I mean, I'll take it. You know what? I don't have any here. I will have some Lucite candles on Sunday night sale, but I bet Lucite candles probably would fit in there. Hi, Kevin. Okay, so Kathy Ott is at 53. Uh, oh, and she stands just shy of seven inches tall. But look at that tail. Going all the way up her back. All right. I'm going to start counting this down. I know, vintage gal. I need to send her a message and say, uh, we've all been waiting for a video. <laughs> Where's your videos at? Come on. But she's been posting a lot on Instagram. And she's been getting these amazing dolls. You know, she does all this doll stuff. And they look real. They look real. So make sure that you're following her on Instagram. Liz Retros. Okay, where are we at? K Karen is at 56. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start counting her down. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Bid and hi, Christy. Donald says you look like Haley Kuko. I can never say I her saw, name. I saw that, but I don't know who that is. Is that bad? She was on um, um, the Sheldon show. The Sheldon show. What's Big Bang? Name? Big Bang. She was Who's the blonde. Who's she married to? Or like well, she was, she was um, Leonard? Leonard. Leonard's girlfriend. Oh, or, like, okay. I guess I'll take that. Thanks so much. All right, Andrea, it is yours for $57. Thank you so much. <clears throat> it's me. So the next item I have available is one from my personal collection. I love these. I pick them up every time, every time I see them because I just think they are the best thing for display. I love anything under glass. That's like my thing. If it's under glass, I love it. This is going to start at $14 and it is a jewelry casket. So it has a beveled cut glass top side and on the back as well. And then these really ornate detailed sides with the flowers in the center. These are amazing to put your jewelry in because you can always see them, but yet they also look displayed. And one of the main reasons I like to have my jewelry in these is because it's like, it turns it into an event. Like when you're picking out your jewelry, you open your fancy little jewelry box and pick out your favorite piece. And it's just like a whole experience. And also, if you are the winner of this piece right here, I am going to include one mystery piece of jewelry with the purchase of this. Oh, that makes it fun. So you will not know what you'll be getting, but you'll be getting something. And it will be the Withering Cottage, uh, what's that called? Approved. So, but I think these are so fun. WCA. What? Withering, withering Cottage Approved. Yeah, there WCA. you go. Not fun to stay at the WCA. <laughs> but um, these also, if you get more of these, them stacked with your mm -hmm. favorite pieces in, because they come in all different sh sizes, shapes, variations. And then it has these really also extremely detailed little legs. Liberace so, had lots of those in his, in his Vegas house. Liberace, that's my Do guy. Do you know well, that when, they, when the guy that bought Liberace's house in Vegas, he like completely gutted it and found like a lot of the original objects. He tracked them all down. He found a hidden compartment in the vanity of Liberace's bathroom full of jewelry that nobody knew about. Yeah. Wow. That's great. I need to do something like that. It was a false, he had a false drawer with all of his that stuff. That is so cool. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start counting this down. Don't forget that it's going to come with a piece of jewelry. Ariana, is, is the glass beveled? I think it is. Yes, is it, on the, it is. It is. So this is, and also this is not like, cheap picture frame glass this is not a modern one it's def it's certainly older I, I i don't want to give you an exact age but this is very thick beveled glass you can see around the edges how that's cut right here yeah. see how it shines when it hits the light so right there is beveled and it's cut all the way around so it was definitely made specifically for this box it's not cheaply made at all it's very heavy very good thick glass it's definitely a good quality jewelry casket all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and start counting it down. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Yes, I know I've frozen. Dang, got it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. I know, Kevin, when I go out to Vegas, I'm going to force Mark to take me there. To the You've Liberace never been? Museum. No, you can actually, we should have a party there, Mark. You can rent it out and have a party. That's where we need to have the company picnic. That's what I was just going to say. Liberace's in Vegas. I'm sure, well, I'm sure we can afford it. It'd be a cheap little weekend. Right. Okay, so I see... Um, I've got Soul had the high bid, at, well, had a just in case of 56, but Leslie had a just in case of 60. 
So we'll go to Leslie for $57. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you so much for your bids. Let's do it. I agree. I took my mom to his museum. I know. He, one of my very favorite YouTubers, it's not a reselling YouTuber, so I can say this without anybody getting mad at me, but is Days with Jordan the Lion. And he used to live in Hollywood and he would go, he's been to, if you look up Days with Jordan the Lion, Liberace, Las Vegas or something, Google that and on D-A-Z-E. He, he went there and it's just fascinating. Anyway, he's, I love him. Anyway, so you should follow him too. Okay, pixie time, pixie time, pixie time. I just bought this too. This was in today's video as well. I put my little air plant flower friend in here just to give you an idea. But as always, we're going to throw that out now. But look, he is so <laughs> mad. It's Look, it's Jeffrey. Why are you guys having a sale tonight and I'm not there? <laughs> it's my sale, guys. <laughs> I'm so mad. Doesn't it look just like him? Anyway. It looks like he'd be best friends with that poodle. <laughs> right, right. Look at how he is so upset that he is sitting on this basket. I don't know who made it, but I just fell in love with his personality. You know? He's a bitter pixie. He's very bitter. I'm going to start the bids at 15. Yeah, the, these I get on Amazon, I, they come with a really long stem, so I just trim the stem, and then, you know, you can just stick it, you know, you kind of have to stick it in there good, because it's still kind of long, but there you go. All of my air plants have died. Yeah, they, they've died, I could because I forgot that they were there. <laughs> Even though I stand by them every day, I forgot that they were there. Peggy, I see you at 20. He's got a little flower. There's a lot going on here. It's a little basket, little woven basket. I'll show you the back. It's plain on the back. There's no damage, no chips or cracks. It's got this little pink flower and a little mad pixie. I'll sit here, but I don't have to like it. That's what he's saying. But this will, will, will look cute with a bunch of little bottle brush trees in there too. Okay, bitter buddy. Bitter bitty pixie. Look, it's Dan. Dan, this is Daniel in his interpretation of Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Okay. Beth, Beth, there you are, Beth. Beth is at 25. I'm going to go ahead and start counting him down. Here we go. Listen, Jeffrey has amazing air plants. They thrive at his house. Mine are all dead. Here we go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight. Oh yeah, Easter candy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bid end. This one you put little suckers in here. He, and he's like, uh, "What's the what's the magic word?" And you can have a sucker. Nope, you got it wrong. Nope, still wrong. Right. Okay, Bill. I think you. I, I think you did it this time, Bill. Let me double check. There's the bid in. So yes. Um, Beth had the high bid of 25. Bill came in with a just in case of 41. So Bill, you get him for $26. Hurrah! Congratulations. Ooh, ooh. I'm coming to your house, Bill. You better like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, your stuff has had the best personalities tonight. Well, you know what? When you go and shop, it's fun just to give things a personality. It makes it so much more enjoyable to shop, right, Mark? Yeah. He They're loves so it. cute. And just so you guys know, I am getting a new office space, like a big girl office space, and I'm getting my own router. I've already called. They're installing it, so this will Good. be rectified soon. I'm and so it will be a tax write-off. Yes. And then you guys won't be so annoyed watching me freeze. But I can assure you, you're not nearly as frustrated as I am with it. Yeah. You're All right. My final item. These are my favorite thing I brought tonight. They're my favorite thing I've brought in a while. I think they are the coolest. It is this oh. pair of Lucite candles. Wait, 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 we're going to pause. Everybody, refresh. Refresh. Make sure that you are in top. No, you're in live chat and not top chat. 
take a breath, do some calisthenics, get ready. Okay. Okay. So these have so much stuff going for them. Like more than any loose like candlesticks pairs I've ever seen. So these are going to start at $40. And here is why. First thing. Normally, when you come across a pair of Lucite candlesticks, we are all familiarized with the gold and silver flaking. However, these are completely filled with chunky silver glitter, like the really good old vintage glitter that's really <laughs> chunky. You know, you know, here's the wicks. These, they look <laughs> like they're frayed, but they're not. This is how they are. These are made of more of a like string than the thicker like ribbon types that we're used to. And then here's the bottom. Look at that foil lining around them. Even <laughs> that's cool. And then, oh, I just noticed there's one boo-boo right here. I don't know if you can see, but I do want to tell you there's one boo-boo right there. So another cool thing is the tallest Lucite candlesticks I've ever like come across are 12 inches. Those were the <laughs> tallest I've ever seen. These are almost 13 inches. They're right under 13 inches. So these are very tall, like really tall candlesticks. And then my husband walked away because the dogs, he took them, he took them to a quiet place. But these glow blue, like a really pretty blue. And if you shine this light on something that is not um uh, not fancy. It's purple. It's more of a purple. You see that purple? <laughs> They're Viagra Lucite. They're fancy. But then this is blue, not purple. How cool is that? I I'm love loving it, Nan. Nan's I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm jibber jabbering anyway. No, but it's Nan. <laughs> There's like a put the Nan <laughs> went on an adventure one night with Lucite candles. It was an adventure. Sunday night. I'm going to turn off this light real quick so y'all can see how they glow. Okay. That's why I'm laughing at Nan's comments because if you were at our sale, was it, I think it was this two Sunday nights ago, we went on an adventure with Nan. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. You can really see it. You can really see it. Is that not so cool? I didn't know that, that, that specific Lucite candles glowed like that. So these yeah. are. Backlight? Oh. Yeah. Like like Jamie said, most of them do glow. They do glow. It, it, like if you have loose like grapes and the candlesticks and jewelry. Will See, glow that makes grapes. sense. I knew about the grapes. I don't know why I never thought yeah. to touch the candlestick, but... And then here, while the lights are off, maybe you can see that glitter a little better as well. So, <laughs> think and cool. Look how glittery they are, Misty. Yeah, I don't think that I've ever seen them that had that much, you know, concentrated glitter. Oh, they're so cool. You know All what right. would be even cooler with those? If they had liquid in them and we could just, they're like little stress things. There you go. Oh, my classroom, I used to have a, a, a calming you can never corner. Hold them. You remember those? Where they calming. like slid and slid and slid. Yeah. And... All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start counting these down reluctantly because I will be sad to see them go. I told Misty before we got on, I was like, I don't know if I want to sell these, but yeah, I'm selling them. So I'm going to go ahead and start counting them down. 15. No, don't like them. <laughs> 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. They are huge. They really are big. 8, 7, Six, five, four, oh, I love them. Three, two, one, big end. And if oh. you have to find pink ones, oh, grab them. Grab them. So, okay. So there's the bid end. Isabel had a just in case of 120. Lynn has a just in case of 150. So they will go to Lynn Combell for 121. Congratulations. Congrats. You are going to love them. They are so cool. They're the coolest pair I've ever found. Me personally. I am going to be selling some on Sunday night at uh, 
on the Cult of Vintage channel. I didn't realize this. They have, I thought that they're, they're white, you know, like clear lucite with red specks, but they're hearts. That's they're insane. hearts. I didn't know that. And I was like, these are hearts. Yeah, I'm excited about I, I still don't, I think I'm going to sell them. I don't know. I haven't totally made up my mind yet, but we'll see. Okay, so we're at mystery box time. All right, so here's, oh, I didn't write down mystery box. Number 11 is mystery box. Mystery box. Okay, so here is my mystery box. It is six pounds and 12 ounces. And, man, and uh, it's 12 by 12 by eight box. So keep that in mind. I am, I do ship from Indiana. So, yeah, heart candle. Yeah, the glitter is hearts. Like, the specks are hearts. The red inside are hearts. Now, okay. Misty, before you start, if you guys hadn't seen, if you guys didn't see me open Misty's mystery box on my channel, when I say she packs these things to the physical limit of physics, I'm not joking. Like, they, her mystery boxes are insane, but go ahead. Sorry. But I just wanted to tell people how good this is going to be. Well, I, I put some things in here. I try to put things that kind of, I don't want to say represent the things that I, that I like, which is a lot, but I have, there are, it's mainly, it's a lot of figurines. Okay. But, but no, I shouldn't say that. There's, there's figurines in here. There is salt and pepper shakers in here. There is a definite bluebird of happiness in here. There is some Melmac in here. There is ephemera in here. There is some children's literature in here. There's some advertising pieces in here. There's a squeaker in here. So there's various things, okay? Um, I'm going to start this at $40. And, and here it is. And it is a 12 by 12 by 8 box. And it and it is. It, it, it's full. I mean, look, I was like pushing down on it to close and there's it. like no space in between the items no. oh no no, no. It's nothing there, there is no space I, I i i i it's full it's full okay i wait oh my gosh i'm gonna try to keep liberace's no well they, they're probably still around somewhere probably in somebody's drawer scott okay steph is at 100 that i'm sorry i'm sorry i didn't mean that Okay, <laughs> so we're at $100. We're at $100 right now. Okay, Bill is at 110 Mystery boxes make me nervous. They do, because what I think is cool, maybe you people won't think that it's cool, and they're like, I can't believe that's That's always in the back of your mind. When Just know that when any of us are packing a mystery box, it is like we're, we're it stresses us out a little bit because we're worried that, Y'all aren't going to like what we put in there. Okay. Steph is at 120. I'm going to start counting this down because I'm already nervous. Don't Here we forget go. your just in cases. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Thank you. 3, 2, 1, bid, end. Bid, end. And I didn't know, like, I packed that mystery box that Ariana got. I packed that not knowing who was going to get I mean, I, it was already taped up. So I didn't know who was winning it. So I didn't, like, pack it for anybody specific. And okay. I can verify that. Because when I bid, there was, like, 20 people else that tried yeah. to get it. I like making mystery. I like making them, and it's still. I keep talking about this, but I just, I, it, I'm stressed out about it. That I would like to do memberships on my YouTube channel, and so there'll be different tiers, and one of the tiers would be a curated monthly mystery box. So every month you would get a mystery box. It probably would be in like a large flat rate box, so it wouldn't be as big as that. But I would have you fill out a questionnaire, so I would get some sort of a an idea. But I would have to have a limited amount of people because I don't think I can, because I do everything. I mean, he's taking pictures for me tonight, but everything else I do. So I, I'm worried that I, it'll, I'll be biting off more than I can chew. Okay. So Bob 
uh, had a bid. I like how I'm saying Bob had a bid of 130. Beth came in with a just in case of 135. So Beth, it goes to you for 131. I'm so sorry, Bob. Beth. You're going to love it. I hope so, Beth. I did put some, I like the stuff in there. And I hope that you will too. I'm sad that we're almost done, Misty. I know. All but right. you know, the night doesn't have to end because flipping and sipping starts at 10. Flipping and flopping. Flipping and flopping. So my mystery box, the way I'm going to do it is a little bit different because just like Misty, I get nervous that I'm not going to do good enough. I, I just, I'm the same exact way. So the way I figured I would start my mystery box is it's going to be a 12 by 12 by 8 irregardless. But what's going to change is it's going to start at $10, but then like say it sells for $10. Like that's all anybody wants to bid. I'll probably put like $25 worth of stuff in here. Say it gets up to 50, then I'll probably put $75 worth of stuff in here and so on and so forth. So that way I feel comfortable about the way yeah. it goes and didn't pack it first. So it's going to start at $10 and then you just bid to what you want to do. And then I will pack this box accordingly. So like the higher, higher, not the higher, higher, you know what I mean? The higher. Oh, there he is. Oh no. He's Mr. like Mr. Rusty, crusty and dusty himself. Yeah, no. Listen, and you guys, you got, if you've watched Ariana's channel, you know kind of her aesthetic and you know the things that she's bringing to her sales and stuff. So you're going to get a little bit of an idea of the kinds of things that she's going to, she's the goodness that she's going to put in there. And I'm a very honest person. That's something I really do take pride in. So if it really does sell for 80 bucks, you're going to get like a good amount of good stuff. Like, and then of course, like I said, the higher it goes up, the better quality and right. the more of the things go in it. And then that way I feel comfortable knowing that I filled it appropriately. So yeah, 12 by 12 by eight. Michael, where have you been? Have you been He's working? been driving. He's been driving. Oh, been on an adventure. Goodness. All right, so I'm gonna start counting this down. And then whoever wins this too, if you don't mind emailing me at the.withering.cottage, you have to email me your information anyways. But if you win this, tell me some things, just like Misty said, tell me some things that you're into because it hasn't been packed yet. So I can make it a little bit specific to the buyer. Oh, thank you. So that would be cool. So I'm going to start counting this down. You're going to be, be you're going to be packing that full because we're at 135. That's my favorite thing to do. I swear I, I, I want to be a personal shopper. That was my calling. But all right. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, oh, I'm sorry, 8, nope. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid and so Karen has a just in case of 200. Oh, she snuck in there. Oh, oh, okay. The, we have a bit of one four, 140 is the high bid, and then there's a bid in. So, Karen, Karen Rogers gets it for 141. <sighs> Congratulations! Woo, woo, woo. Hey. Just real quick, just because I have two left and I just, I want to, I, I I'll just go ahead and sell them right now. If you don't mind, Ariana. No, not at all. You mean I get to have to hang out with you longer? Oh, <laughs> these, I got these two gals left. So these are the only two that I have left. I've sold all of them. They, these are two beautiful African-American ladies. This one's in a white dress. This one's in a blue and white beaded dress they both she has earrings but she does not okay so they're gonna be it's twelve dollars so i'll do the blue and clear first the first person if, if anyone wants them the first person that types in the number three will get the blue and clear beaded dress aren't they beautiful i love their hair and she's got her hat. All right. I see you, Kristen. 
Yeah, blue. Kristen. All right, I'll add those over here. And then we've got the clear beads. She does not, yeah, she does not have earrings, but she does have a hat. So she's also $12, the first person to type in the number eight. They're popular. And these are a lot bigger than what I thought. I thought they'd be itty bitty. First person to type in the number eight will get to take her. I see B. So cute. B, it is yours. Now, the funnest part of the night for me is the give boat. Wait. Give boat. Wait. Give away. So I'm, I'm going to have to follow away. your lead to see how you do it. Okay. I'm going to do it the way that Michael does it. These are just making me mad. I'm going I'm to throw them aside because they're not working. But this is the little cubist fairy lamp. Um, and it is made by Home Co. I can see the little Home Co. Ooh, it's got a little bit of wax in there too, but it's Home Co. But you, the, the colored fairy lights, I think look really nice in here. But for Valentine's Day, you could put red ones in here. Um, you'll also get a, um, a sticker. And here's the deal. Um, you don't have to purchase something. All I, I and you will get this free. I will now. If you bought something from me, then I'll adjust the shipping. I'll like only I'll measure the box, and I'll only charge you the shipping that that this wasn't a part of. Um, but if you you don't have to win. I'm just this is just, if you anybody that's here. There's 557 people here. 557 people. As long as you are in the U.S. or Canada, because I, I can only ship to you. Um, then you are eligible to win and the shipping is on me. So I'm going to go ahead and think of a number and it's the first person to put in the number three. First person to put in the number three. That's my favorite number. Oh, so good. All right, Becca. I see you, Becca. Is that, no, you, the chat. is that who you see, Ariana? Um, let's see. I have to scroll way up. That yeah, Becca Moore. Becca. Becca, you did it. Becca, Becca. send me your internet. I need it. Becca, I might if I if I could I might put a little pig in there if I can find one for you, girl. Okay, I'll do that too. It'll fit right inside there. Thank you, Becca. All right, Ariana. All right, and mine is not a vintage it, item. It's also not letting me, hang on. It's oh. not letting me switch us. What the heck? What's going on here? So the only like, oh, you had it. Oh. There we go. The only like non-vintage or antique items I like are candles. So that's why you're going to get this Bath and Body Works. And this is actually a discontinued smell. It's still, I mean, it's it's still really good. I just collect these. And this one's called the flower shop. And I just picked it because Valentine's day. So this is going to be the gift, uh, the giveaway that you're going to receive. Just like Misty, I'm not going to charge you shipping. And if you did buy something for me and you happen to win, I will deduct the weight from this from your shipping. So free shipping. So the first person to type in the number 11 is going to get this. number 11. Oh, Nan. Nan's like, candle, candle. I love candles. They're just, oh, I love them. I see Deb Farrington. I'm going to make sure on my phone. Yep. I'm waiting for my chat to catch up so I can type it or so I can see it. Deb, send me your internet too. Deb Farrington. And Deb, uh, please, if you could send me your information. All you got to do is, um, is it in the description box? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Follow the directions and you'll find your way. Well, I don't, this is sad because it's like, I don't want it to be over, but it is. I, know how I feel, even though I am so ready for it to be over because I'm going to, as soon as I hit end this, I'm going to take my tablet and my phone. I'm going to flush them down the toilet. No, you're not. It was no. fine. It was, it I'm was doing fine. It. It was so fine. Yeah, if you were seeing numbers, make you refresh. 
it's internet speeds are different. I have another device right here that I'm watching to make sure sometimes I don't look at it, but I did look at it to make sure that it, it, it the person that won it, it was the person that, that did win it. So it has been a fun night, but you know what? It doesn't have to be over because flipping and sipping starts at 10 o'clock Eastern. So you have one hour to go get a snack, go, you know, do put your pajamas on, get comfy, open up a bottle of wine and get ready for, for flipping and sipping. Um, and it really wasn't that bad. I agree. It, it really wasn't. Oh, I guess I'm just my own worst internet critic. It, yeah. 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 We we're always our own worst critic. We really, really are. Um, if you are out on the East Coast, I, I hope and pray that you are staying safe and that you're, you're maybe it won't be as bad as they've predicted it. And spring is just around the corner. It's and if you don't have to go out, don't. Just go yeah. out maybe only if you really, really, really need to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go out when you need to. Um, Ariana, where can people find you next? If I knew, I'd tell you. No, I don't know. Um, actually, big announcement. I don't think I announced this. Um, I have decided to do weekly Tuesday live sales. So yep. every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m., come on over to my channel and have fun with me and hang out. And my mom was going to be here, too. And I already, I, um, I didn't know if I'd be able to do it because I have a four-year-old and, like, I put her to bed and I don't know, but I found a really good friend. She's going to tuck her in for me and read her a story for me on Tuesday night. So I am going to be able to do it. So I hope you guys can come and that'll be fun. Yep. Yep. Make sure that you do that Tuesday nights at seven 30 Eastern um, Tuesdays at one. Well, actually this Sunday night at eight o'clock Eastern on Michael's channel, the cult of vintage Myself, Michael, and uh, Junk Drunk Mantiques, and the Traveling Button from Instagram and YouTube, actually. Sarah has a YouTube channel now, too. She's having sales on Wednesdays right after my sales. So, you know, the party can just continue on over to, to Sarah's channel. Um, we will be selling, uh, we have Four Eyed Vintage. I'm, I have found some amazing things today, and I, I can't wait. <laughs> I, I'm like looking at the box right now and I, I can't wait to show them to you, but they're going to be available on Sunday um, at eight o'clock Eastern. And then Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern, Michael and I have our Tuesday sales together. And then Wednesday, I'm super excited, but Tony Butterfly Nurse on Instagram, she posts amazing. I don't know where she finds her stuff, but she posts amazing things that she finds. She and I have asked her to come over and she and I are going to have a live sale together on Wednesday. So I don't want to talk how you do it, Misty Pate. That is, so you just get in the motion. You just get in the Goodness. motion and, and you just, it's just like any other job. You know, you just, you just do it. I need you to you be just, my Obi-Wan. You, oh, you, you just, you just get it done. I'm thinking about doing the, 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 the subscription boxes. I just have to figure out, all the other thing, all the things that's going to take um, to do it. I'm going to talk to a, my best, my best friend tomorrow night, and maybe see if she can help me curate them. I've got stuff, you know, but I would do like questionnaires, like what are the colors of your house? What's your holy grail? What's your, you know? And it would be like I don't know what the fees are going to be, but I mean you're going to get a full flat rate box, so that is it isn't going to be. Idea. It's not going to be. It's going to be affordable, but it's not going to be cheap. Does that make sense? I feel bad even saying it, but we'll, we'll see how it goes, if I can figure it out. So um, anyway, thank you guys so much. Make sure that you do send us your information, send it to both Ariana and I. And once we have it, you're good, unless your information changes, and then we'll, we'll need it all over again. So thank you guys so much. And flip it and sip it. Uh, Fat Bird Finds YouTube channel. Fat Bird Finds. Uh, 10 o'clock Eastern for some more fun. All right, Ar Ariana, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye. Bye.